watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So y'all heard it, man. Shouts out to um uh uh Shelly Finkel, Team Wilder for coming out and um you know defending themselves. You see, this is what we're talking about. You know, um Eddie, we get Eddie Hearn coming out, but we 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 consistently get the lack of Ed Anthony Joshua coming out. He come out with these little snickets talking about, oh, I'm just hanging around waiting to sign, but he doesn't give no real insight to what really took place. You know, um, only that leaked information about him not being too happy with the way the negotiations went with Eddie Hearn. Whether you believe it to be rumored or to be fake or not, the 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 at the end of the day, Eddie Hearn is the only one coming out and talking. Anthony Joshua is doing none of the talking. You know, uh, and we hear Deontay Wilder come out and speak his truth, and now we get Shelly Finkel coming out and speaking the absolute truth and and uh, willing to expose Eddie Hearn and, and, uh, and Anthony Joshua with the whole negotiation with the paper trail. See, this is it's just like, it goes back to where um, Showtime's uh, CEO um, Steven Espinosa said, you know, we got the proof. We got the paperwork. See, at the end of the day, Eddie Hearn is playing a very dangerous game because if they want to, they could just pull out the paperwork and show and prove. And then Matchroom and Eddie Hearn sinks because you got to remember, at this point, he just signed a billion dollar deal with his own. Now, some people come out and say it's a two a two year, uh, uh, 250 million dollar deal. I really haven't done the numbers. I really haven't looked inside of that to know um whether it's a billion dollars or a two-year deal i know some of the brothers in the ldbc like uh my brother Fanon international breaks it down you can go check out his channel uh i haven't i haven't really done the numbers i haven't really looked into it i just heard um what Fanon has said on it um so myself i haven't looked into it but um i trust the brother Fanon and his knowledge of it so uh anyway with that being said, uh, we get Shelly Finkel coming out and doing an interview on um, Fight Hype. Uh, credit goes to Fight Hype for this interview, for that little clip of audio that I used. That goes to Fight Hype. I don't own the copyrights. I don't own the rights to that. Just wanted to get, give y'all a, a little snippet of what Shelly Finkel has said. You can go check out the entire interview on FightHype.com. Um, so Shelly Finkel came out and defended himself because, as you know, Eddie Hearn, came out and he did a, a half hour long interview uh discussing the, the negotiations and what what took place and what went wrong between deontay wilder and anthony joshua negotiations between team wilder and team joshua matchroom and uh, uh um pbc or deontay wilder whatever whatever you want to call it you know um but at the end of the day eddie hearn admits that he never even met al Heyman. You know, so he talks uh, a lot about Al Heyman. He uh, he dragged Al Heyman through the mud, and he's never even met the man. So that says a lot in itself, you know. But um, now we get Shelly Finkel coming out and threatening. Listen, if you keep going on with the lies, basically, we're gonna expose you with the paper trail. And see, this is what we've been been saying. It's just like Stephen Espinosa said. We have a paper trail. It's how dare you, the the the, the audacity you. To continue to lie in the public and try to drag Deontay Wilder's name through the mud when we have a paper trail that can expose you and match them. I mean, Eddie Hearn is already having an issue, like I started off with saying, uh, with the one billion dollar deal with the zone or two year deal worth 250 million dollars. He's having an issue signing certain fighters, signing big name fighters. Excuse me for that, y'all. He's having an issue signing uh, certain fighters, you know, big name fighters. He admits that he doesn't have that. Um, that 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 bell cow in his stable for the zone 
you know, um, that he wants to get that bell cow. He doesn't have the golden child, so to speak. He said he don't have the Errol Spence or the Keith Thurman or the Mikey Garcia or the Terrence Crawford or, you know, any of the, uh, of the above. You know, he even was looking to sign Deontay Wilder. I don't know how that would happen. You continue to drag his name through the mud. You know, but um, at the end of the day, when you got a paper trail, man, sometimes you just got to be careful what you do and, and, and how you do it and what you say. You know, uh, this is, is basically like uh, Showtime Steven Espinosa and um, Shelly Fingo saying that he got the audacity to continue to go on and uh, uh, smudge their name. And he knows that they have a paper trail. You know, it's just not um, it's just not proper to, to expose that, you know, negotiations and legal issues and stuff like that in the paper trail it's just like what goes on in the sport of boxing you know it's an unwritten rule you know what goes on in sparring is not supposed to be talked about in, amongst the public you know you get errol spence he's always asked about the situation in the sparring session between himself and adrian broner and between himself and floyd mayweather and he always you know he he don't he, he goes around he dances around the questions you know because what takes place in sparring is supposed to stay in sparring it's just like what takes place in negotiations behind the scenes is supposed to stay in negotiations behind the scenes. Just that, you know, but Eddie Hearn keeps coming out and bashing and and and, and blaming Anthony uh, Deontay Wilder and, and Shelly Finkel and saying that, oh, Shelly Finkel doesn't even get along with Al Heyman. He's trying to draw a wedge between them. They don't even get along. They don't even talk amongst each other. Deontay Wilder is just a guy from Alabama. He doesn't have $50 million. So he's coming out. And he's forcing their hand. He's going to force their hand until they expose him in the public with the paperwork. And then Matchroom will be in trouble. Because then all other fighters are going to see, oh, this dude was really lying behind the scenes. And then he really won't be able to sign nobody. Then he's going to be in trouble with the zone even deeper. Because now he, he, he owes them. He's in debt to them. Because he, he promised them something. And if he can't deliver, then that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? So at this point in time, man, like I said, the more Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua, the lack of Anthony Joshua, the lack of Anthony Joshua talking, and the more Eddie Hearn talks, the deeper the hole they dig themselves in. And then the more they expose themselves. The more they expose themselves. You see, it's like once you lie, you gotta continue to lie. You gotta continue to lie. And you gotta remember the lie you told yesterday, or you, you end up looking like a fool. When you tell the truth, you can continue to tell the truth, and you it, your story doesn't change. So see, Deontay Wilder's story doesn't change about fighting uh, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua's uh, team, I don't, want to, I don't want to say Anthony Joshua because we don't hear nothing from Anthony Joshua. But Team Joshua and Eddie Hearn continue to contradict themselves, continue to lie in the public. So it's just not a good look at this point, man. But that's all I got. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. Shelly Finkel, Team Wilder threatening to, to expose Eddie Hearn with the paper trail. If he keep, continues on the bash and lie about about the situation and how negotiations uh, took place and what took place, so you can check out the uh, entire uh, the, the interview in its entirety on FightHype.com on YouTube. You can see the entire interview there. And that's all I got for y'all. It's your boy Blue Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Shouts out to the whole LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Road. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, and comment on these videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sports TV, baby, from the Empress. Much love.